Don't question me about my bloody well word. That's all I'm saying to you. That's it. Four is all you're getting, and that four, that's, that's it. Four, that's it. That's it. I haven't killed any more than that. He was one of the most notorious criminals in the world, locked up for 20 years, suspected of murder, but never convicted. Now a new interview has been made public showing Australian criminal Mark Chopper Reed, just days before dying, confessing to killing four people. When I killed Sammy the Turk, that wasn't self-defence, that was outright <laughs> Sorry, it shouldn't be swearing, but that was outright murder. I, I told the, um, the armour we squad that night that, that it was self-defence. I said he grabbed the gun out of the front of me pants and I grabbed the shotgun out and click, click, click here and I've gone bang through the head. And I thought to myself, if anyone believes this story, they've got, they got, they got rocks in the head. And next thing you know, the jury would come back and said, not guilty. I, was, oh. I didn't go, cheer, cheer. I just dumbfounded as the jury walked out. I'm still looking. As well as claiming to have murdered fellow gangster Sammy the Turk, he also said he was responsible for the deaths of Desmond Costello, an influential union member, a paedophile named Reginald Isaacs, and motorbike gang leader Sidney Michael Collins. The interview with Australian Channel 9 Network's 60 Minutes program took place at Pentridge Prison in Melbourne just before Reed passed away on the 9th of October. What does it feel like to kill someone? Didn't feel anything at all. Nothing. What do you expect me to say? Reed found worldwide fame in 2000 when Eric Banner played him in Chopper, a big screen film about his life. During his time inside, Reed wrote several crime books with tales and anecdotes from his criminal and prison life, refusing to say exactly which parts were fictional. I'm not going to tell you which parts are true and which parts not. Reed died following a battle with liver cancer. He was 58.